Welcome back to my channel. So today, I'm actually in the middle of filming a first impressions on the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I'll link that down below. Well, depending on which one goes up first, if it's this video or that video, I'll link it down below so you can check it out. But I already had the camera sitting in front of me and I was doing the rest of my makeup and I stumbled upon my Kat Von D Contour Palette. I have been loving this lately. I have been loving this since I bought it, actually. And I was getting ready to put it on and I figured, you know what, I'm going to film a review, a product review on this. So that is what I'm going to do for you today in this video. Okay, so first let's talk about the product and then I'll show you how it works on your face. So the uh, Shade and Light Contour Palette is $46. It's $46. You can get it at Sephora. I think they only sell it at Sephora. And it has three highlighting shades and three contouring shades. So you guys know about contour palettes. I won't go in it too much. But there's a nice variety of colors here. You have like your gray cool tones, your neutral tones, and then your warm tones. So it has a really good variety of colors. And then it also, part of the line is the brush. Now this brush does not come with the palette, they're separate. This brush is $36 and it's dual ended. One side is for the highlighting colors and one side is for the contour colors. So originally I just bought the brush because I had just bought the Anastasia contour palette and I was like, I can't buy two contour palettes. I don't even contour that much to begin with. Why would I buy the palette? So I just bought the brush and the brush is fantastic. It has like really soft hairs. The highlighting side is nice and kind of dome shaped so it gets under your eyes really really well. And then the contour side, um, the shade side is thin but not too thin so it gets a really good kind of diffused contour line and it has that same really soft texture to it. So I really really like the brush but then I saw all of these like glowing reviews on the contour palette and I decided I had to pick it up and I had to try it out for myself. So I bought this during the Sephora VIB Rouge sale and I got it 15% off which is great and I'm so glad that I did. All right, so the palette, that the powders themselves are like so incredibly like super buttery soft and like uber uber pigmented and there's something about these powders that makes like the staying power fantastic. I don't know if it's just the uber pigmentation or what it is about it but once you get that contour line it is not going anywhere until you wash your face. I had a situation where I like kind of messed up my contour line. I made it a little bit too high and I tried to like buff it out with a whole bunch of different brushes. I even put powder foundation on top of it and it would not budge and it would not like go anywhere. So that's a really good thing if you get your contour line right. It's a really bad thing if you get it wrong. So hopefully you get it right more often than wrong but the staying power is fantastic. I've even fallen asleep in my makeup and then woken up and like I have an eyebrow missing and like my mascara smudged all over but my contour is still perfect so it's it's amazing staying power and the pigmentation is just I mean look at that look at how pigmented that is I can't even it's just it's great it's really 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 great so today I'm going to show you how I like to use the highlighting colors and also how I like to use the contour colors. Now I already have everything on my face done. Um, I already put a little bit of bronzer on my face. I do not have blush on, but aside from blush and contour, my entire face of makeup is already done. Um, so I'm going to show you how to use the highlighting color first. So I really like this yellow toned color right here. It's called uh, Lyric. Um, the yellow toned ones. The others I've used a few times. This one is like a peachy, really warm color. And then this one is like a, it has a cool undertone to it. It has a little bit of pink to it. I don't think either of them have any shimmer. I think they're both completely matte. But I really like this one for under my eyes, which is primarily what I use it for. So I just like to kind of dot my brush in there on an angle, blow it off a little bit, and then pat it under my eyes. And I've already put my uh, concealer on, obviously, and I've actually already set my under eye with the um, Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. So this is just an extra step that I like to take when I'm really feeling like I have dark circles or if I'm feeling extra tired or if I just want a little bit of extra coverage or highlight, 
I take this extra step and you can see my under eyes are just a little bit more bright and I just look a little bit more like awake and lively and I love it. It also does not cause cakiness so it doesn't cause my under eyes to like crease or get cakey or like call it doesn't settle into fine lines or anything like that it's like it's like magic powder I don't know what it is about it it's awesome and then for contour I haven't used this one yet it's just a little bit too dark for me actually it's a lot bit too dark for me so I tend to uh, lean towards either this middle one right here called shadow play or this kind of lighter gray toned one over here called sub Subconscious, I think is what it's called. The font is really funky on the back, so <laughs> it's hard to kind of read. This one has a little bit more of the gray tone, which is great for contouring because shades have gray in them, so it's perfect for that. I actually tend to use this one the most, the one in the middle right here. So I'm going to dot that on my brush, kind of blow off the excess. And then of course, just like all other contour, I start right here on like my sideburn line and I go towards my mouth. I don't go all the way down. I kind of stop at the peak of where my cheekbone is, kind of like that. Woo, you could see how pigmented that is. And that is with one swipe, like not even double dipping or like, wow, super pigmented. So I definitely want to make sure I buff this out because that's a little bit too harsh of a contour line for me. But that alone, you can see like how crazy pigmented this stuff is. Okay, so that is with buffing it out with the brush. I'm going to go in with a big fluffy brush and just kind of buff it out a little bit more. Um, and you can see even going over it with like all of these brushes and stuff, it's really not budging. So that is one side so you can see what it looks like there compared to no contour. And that is what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side so I'm matching. Okay, so that is what it looks like on both sides of my cheeks. You can see it just creates this really pretty kind of natural contour color. And that pigmentation, hmm, it is really, really good. All right, guys. Well, that is the end of this product review video. Let me know what your thoughts are on this palette down below. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you have another contour palette that you like better? Let me know so I can check it out if you do. And that is all I have for you today. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.